Hope you guys are doing fantastic. My name is Alex Balkus, and if you're new to this channel, this is where I talk about tech, product reviews, and side hustles that I incorporate on a regular basis. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to factory reset your iPhone 8. And if you guys need to get this done, there's just a couple of steps along the way. They've been changing the methods of how you need to get this done. But today I'm going to just be showing you guys the quick updated method for factory resetting your iPhone 8. Make sure that you have a iPhone cable plugged into the back of your computer. Go ahead and plug it in and you're going to just plug it into the device. Once you plug it into the device, you're going to have to follow a couple of steps. The first one is going to be pressing on the volume up. So volume up, volume down, and then holding the lock button. Once you hold the lock button, you should be able to get a message uh, showing that it's asking to power off your device. However, you're not gonna slide it to turn off your device. You're just gonna continue to hold it and wait until the device powers off completely. And once it powers off completely, you'll also notice that an Apple logo will pop up. Now, even with this Apple logo popping up, you're still gonna wanna hold it down just so that you can get the message that you're searching for, which is the connect to iTunes message. The reason why we're doing it with this device is because the iPhone was disabled. Uh, the code was um, inputted wrong too many times. So now it needs to be factory reset in order to gain access back to it. To start this process, you're gonna go ahead and hold on to the volume up button, click it one time. Then you're gonna go for the volume down button and then you're going to release it and hold on to the power button. So it's only gonna take a moment. Once you hold on to the power button, you should see that the slider at the top is gonna to ask you to power your device off. However, you're not gonna be powering it off. You're gonna be making sure that you just hold on to the power button firmly and waiting for the screen to black out. Once the screen blacks out, you're gonna just wait for that Apple logo to appear and continue holding that button until you get to the iTunes message. So if you do it properly, it should look like this. Uh, the screen does go black after the pop-up bar on the top asks you to power the device off. However, do not slide that button. You just keep holding the button firmly uh, until you get this message right here. So this message is what you need. Once you get there, you can release the button and you'll notice that on the computer, you'll have your iTunes pop up with the Windows tab to cancel, restore, or update. So for this particular video, we're gonna be updating uh, but more so restoring it first when you restore it it will automatically do the update for you if there's anything present that your iPhone doesn't have installed so go ahead and click restore then you're gonna go ahead and click restore and update and you'll get a couple of prompts it's telling you right now that it's gonna be updating to iOS 13.5.1 which is gonna be the update that is capable for this particular device um, unless you wanted to go into iOS 14, but we're just going to go ahead and move on to the one that it's asking us to install. So once you go ahead and see these messages, you're going to accept and agree. Once you accept and agree, you'll notice that on your screen that it's going to start having a loading and installation bar that shows you that your device is being updated. Once that happens, you just give it some time and it will go ahead and factory data reset your device. Just keep in mind that it is going to take a little bit of time because you're gonna to need to wait for that software update to be refreshed on your device to the latest iOS. Now for this particular model, it's the 13.5.1, unless you wanted to go ahead and up it to the iOS 14. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna stop at the 13.5.1 because that's all you need in order to get this device restored back to the factory settings. It is gonna take quite a bit of time, so just give it some time and at the end of that, you'll be rerouted to a white home screen, similarly to the one that you see when you first buy your iPhone and that's gonna symbolize that your device is done restoring and you're good to go. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.